In this video, I'm going to show you how to send a patient a review request from the front counter. Now, this may sound like an easy job that only takes seconds, but I'll tell you this. The way you interact with the patient will have everything to do with whether the patient actually writes the review or not. If all you do is type in this basic information and hit send, nothing will happen. The system's success, your success, the patient's ability and desire to want to write a review has so much more to do with how you engage with them at the front counter than anything the system can possibly do on its own. That being said, I want to show you what's important and what you need to do at the front counter before you actually send a review request. The first thing is, up until this point, someone should have asked the patient to write a review and the patient has agreed to that. It could be a doctor, a nurse, someone in the office has asked. At that point, they or someone on their behalf needs to walk them up to the front and pass them off to you. Now, here's what I mean by that. They might say, hey, Julie, Bob has offered to write a review for us. Will you please send him a review request? Now, whoever passes, passes the patient off to you needs to say that for you to hear and for Bob to hear so that both Bob and you know what is about to happen. Uh, the patient now knows they're expected to interact with you, and you now know you're going to send a review request off. If you don't do these things, if you do not engage with the patient in this manner, they will walk out of your office and they will not write a review. The next thing that's important is you must engage with the patient. So once it's been, they've been passed off to you, I encourage you to look up and say something like this. Hey, thank you, Bob, for offering to write a review. It means the world to us. That is a great way to engage the patient and move on to the next step. The other thing I want you to note is this. You must, must, must send the review request before the patient leaves the office. If that patient walks out of the office uh, before you have a chance to send the review request, and I cannot explain why, they will not respond. So you've got to have them passed off to you, you need to engage with them, and you need to send the request before they leave. Okay, that being said, this is 99% of the most important thing that needs to happen. Sending the review request is a cakewalk. And let me show you how that's done. So what you're going to do is make sure you're signed into bestlocalreviews.com. Over here to the right, this should say either log in or log out. If you're logged in, you'll see the navigation over here. If you uh, need to log in, click on the login button, get the username and password from your manager. Once you've done that, you're going to click on the top right, Request New Review. It's easy to note. It's always at the top, Request New Review, and this is where you're going to type in the information that generates the email that goes to your patient to where they can write the review. Now, here's what I'd like you to do. Customer first name, Bob, capital B-O-B. Please do not type in all caps. I see a lot of people do that. It looks funny on the email. Now, even though my last name is Summers with an O, you're only going to want to type in a capital S, and that's for HIPAA requirements. So make sure you type in the patient's first name and only the first letter of their last name. Then I encourage you to ask them for their primary email address. People have more than one email. Uh, I have like four. The one I look at all the time is bobsummers at gmail.com. Then I encourage you to read the email back and assume that if anything went wrong, you typed it in wrong. So you might say something like this. Hey, Bob, can I repeat your email back to make sure I typed it incorrectly? B-O-B-S-O-M-M-E-R-S at gmail.com. Is that correct? Wonderful. Now, the other thing I want you to note is the person who asked the patient to write a review also got authorization that they can have this email sent to them. So they already know this is what's going to happen, and they've already agreed to getting the email. So don't worry about saying, we're not going to share it with anyone. Someone's already done that on, on your behalf. Then you're going to link it to the employee that provided that service. And in this case, let's say it's Dr. Uh, Kanala. So I'm going to click on his name. And then you're going to see down here under the coupon flyer some choices. 
Whatever the default choice is, that is what you're going to want to send. That's what management has decided they want to send off to the patient. So what in essence is going to happen, they're going to get an email with a request to write a review that they can follow. And when they're finished, they're going, in this case, to get a flyer or something else that's seasonal that will go to the patient in the form of a coupon or a flyer with a request to share it with their family and friends. So just leave it set to wherever it is. Now, once you've done that first name, first letter of last name, capital B, not all caps, primary email address, you link it to the particular doctor or nurse or whoever served that patient. You leave this set. Um, and by the way, the check button, if you click on the check button, this will tell you if you have sent an email through the system to this patient before. So for uh, the time being, I wouldn't even worry about clicking on that. Once you've done this, it only takes a couple of seconds, click on Submit Request. Once you click on that button, you'll see that the form goes empty again and you'll see text that reads, your request has been sent successfully. Now remember, filling this out, 15 seconds, it means nothing. But if you do not engage with the patient, if you send this after they leave, if you miss either of those two things, they will not respond. Your role in getting feedback from your patients has very little to do with you filling this out effectively. Remember, request new review, fill it out. It takes nothing, no effort. It's how you engage with the patient. Do you thank them for offering to write a review? Do you send the review request while they are standing in front of you? If you do those things, you will have a spectacular response rate. If you don't, and I cannot explain why this is, if you don't engage with them, if you send it after they leave, virtually no one will respond. So if you go to your dashboard and you see that almost no one has responded, that is the reason for it. All right, that is how you send a review request to a patient.